hello everyone in this video prepare to be blessed by the ministry of apostle joshua selman prepare to pray prepare to receive prophetic declarations prepare to long stretch in prayer tonight and let your expectations be known to god let your heart be opened and with faith pray these prayers that will be coming from the man of god stay connected as you listen and God bless you. I want to impart upon someone what the Bible calls the spirit of faith. Most people have bold faith just for the sake of it. But I tell you sincerely, there are many people who are not walking by faith. They don't know what it means to walk by faith and bet unusual miracles by faith. It takes faith to deliver your portion in destiny. There is a spirit of faith. When the spirit of faith comes upon you, you can believe God for anything. He can send you to the nations and you will say yes, sir. Welcome to Chat Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verses 130, the entrance of thy word giveth life. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. Hear me. There are some of you, the mantle for the next level has been looking for you. The mantle for the next level. With this current level of empowerment, you cannot go far. No. You will need an empowerment again. I want to stretch my hands and by the way those of you at the back do not think just because you are at the back you are alienated from this meeting right where you are i want you to connect by faith believing that the hand of god is reaching you there and touching you there i see you at the back i see those who are in this area everywhere all over the stadium i want you to pray one last prayer father the unction i need to rise to the next dimension in the spirit let it rest upon me now go ahead and pray mantles graces unctions someone pray someone is carrying something go ahead and pray Find someone who is serious. Anybody who is not praying, leave him alone. Pair yourselves into three. Three, three. And you are going to, for the next two or three minutes, I'd like you to blast in tongues non-stop. We are declaring war over the gates of darkness. Lift your voice and pray that a threefold cord cannot be easily broken. <laughs> Pray like a priest. Pray like a priest. Shabbat Shabbat Lord, the gates must open. Lord, my destiny must be revived. My spiritual life must be revived. My finances, my family, arise, O oh God of heaven. Shabadakata, Shabadakata, Lakata Katakata. My ministry is time to break forth on the left, on the right. Oh, <laughs> 
of God, it must break in my life. Lift your voice and cry. Lift your voice and cry. Lord, enough is enough. Enough of failure. Enough of poverty. Enough of burying my loved ones. Something has to break loose. Enough of struggling ministry. Enough of struggling my spiritual life. Pray, pray, pray. Let fire burn in this place. Let fire burn in this place. Let fire burn in this place.
Rabashata,
just two more minutes for someone God is saying I should tell you return back to the place of the altar return back to the place of the altar you have left your secret place the Lord is bringing you a word your victory was because of the power and the strength of your altar. Avoid distraction. You will not get it that way. God is speaking to someone returning by the place of the altar.
Don't be tired, you're edifying your spirit, man. Shut up, 
Instrumentalists just charge the atmosphere for us. Blast in tongues and refuse upon Mount Zion. And it shall come to pass in that day. And it shall come to pass in that day. In that day. In that day. In that, day. In that, day. In that, day. that the burden shall be taken 
from off your shoulder and the yoke from off your neck and it shall be destroyed because of their wanting. Please pray, pray. Please pray. If you are tired, hold the hands of somebody that can agree with you. Pray for your destiny. Pray. Enough is enough, oh God. The victory of Christ, the work of Jesus on the cross, cannot be in vain. The substitutionary sacrifice of the Son of the living God cannot be in vain. It's time to 
to break clouds in the spirit. It's time for the anointing of your destiny to come. It's time for the ministry to open. It's time for your finances to come. It's time for prophecy to find expression. Hello, him Adonai, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hello, him Adonai, thy kingdom come, thy will be Hello, him Adonai. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. This prayer is a serious prayer. As we pray, sisters, I want you to lay your hands on your womb. As we are praying, brothers, just pray in tongues. I like you to declare that no seed of any entity that is not of God will find. I will not give birth to any stranger. No, let us catabalata, shanata toskata. Pray. No matter the ordinances of the fathers, no matter the enchantments of the ancient, I come by a new order and I declare my womb will produce that seed of the woman that will bruise the head of the serpent. I cause fire blood. I cause fire blood. Cause every devil. Shabbatata. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Brothers, I'd like you to pray. The spirit that keeps men in one place. You don't move forward. You don't move backward. You stay. No productivity. Every gentleman here, open your mouth and blast in tongues. Father in the heavens, this is better. Shabbatakatoskata. The yokes, the altars, and everything that tie my life, that tie my destiny, by the mystery of deliverance, I challenge, I challenge, it is upon Mount Zion, the spirits that cause failure. came into being when the spirit assisted men so your victory comes into being when the spirit assists you it says I am the God of Bethel I have seen the oppression that Laban has done the victory will not just happen forget about the physical things in the realm of the spirit you are going to cry for divine assistance I provoke the ministry of angels over every affair of my life. Lift your voice and pray. Cry. Are they not ministering spirits? Are they not ministering spirits? My brothers and sisters, are they not ministering spirits? Send to minister for them that be the heirs of salvation. I call for assistance from heaven. Oh God of Jeshurun, the helper of men, the lifter of men, the helper of men, the lifter of men, the deliverer. Shaka Angels on a 
assignment. Angels on assignment. Angels on assignment. Angels on assignment. Judging the wicked, delivering the prophecy of God concerning my life. We are going to pray. Every attribute of the flesh that gives access to any spirit in my life by the mystery of the blood, I declare that that door is closed forever. Lift your voice and pray. Come on. Lift your voice and pray. I feel fire in this place listen everything God has shown you either as a revelation from his word or as a revelation from the realm of the spirit you are going to declare Jacob did not just see the spotted calves and left them in the realm of the spirit they had to come and interact the word must become flesh I like you to lift your voice and cry Shakos Katabata Every anointing, every mantle, every mandate, every dimension, the prophetic, the apostolic, prosperity, increase, speed, deliverance that God has shown me. Lord, you showed me victory. I declare, I declare, I declare, it must find expression. to pray listen carefully whether you are an usher or not please if anyone is under the anointing or manifesting around you just help them are we together the very serious prayer we're going to pray now you are going to pray that if by any means there is any spirit entity in my life or around me it's time for you to come out it's time for you to go listen as you pray this prayer many strange things will start happening to you don't worry about it you just focus on this prayer and pray with all your heart and watch what happens say in the name of jesus say it in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the authority of the lord jesus christ that any spirit entity 
finding expression in my mind in my body around my life hear the word of the lord i cast you out of my life now lift your voice and pray Pray, fire is falling. Pray, fire is falling. Shabbatakata. I cast every spirit. I cast every devil. I cast every spirit by the power of the Holy Ghost. My mind, my body, around my life, around Koinonia. In the name of Jesus, around my family, Shamakados Kadabash. If you are married, also pray for your family, pray for your children. I cast every devil, Matakota Shamalata, Shabras Katamaleke Toshayala. ministering to me a mighty deliverance is going to happen now it's starting with ladies any spirit entity that comes in the form of a man and attempts to oppress you in the night right now in the name of Jesus Christ let the fire from heaven fall right now and command I command that spirit to go help them right now any spirit entity using the face of anyone to molest you and close doors inside outside I command deliverance now I command deliverance now let the daughters of Jacob possess their possession in the name of Jesus Christ Hallelujah. I'm hearing in my spirit uncontrolled anger. It's a spirit. It's leaving people right now. Uncontrolled anger. It's, a, it's an unusual anger. Rage. It comes, you can see anything and you can do anything. I'm seeing fire in the name of Jesus. Anyone who is a victim of this oppression. Right now in the name of Jesus, I bring you deliverance. I bring you deliverance by the power of the Holy Ghost. Uncontrolled anger. I come against him now. Please help her. Shata skota ba shata liasa. Embra kato sabaro kato shekete balakaya.
I'm seeing a vision. And the Lord is asking me to pray on that case. In this vision, I'm seeing someone dream. That's what I'm seeing now. And in that dream, you keep seeing yourself going back either to your old house or to a primary school or writing an exam you are finished it's a strong spirit of delay i stand by this apostolic and prophetic grace help your wife right now in the name of jesus at the count of three the spirit of delay hear the word of the lord let god's people go now one two three i command that spirit go now go now please help them go now this one thing i do forgetting the things that are behind no devil should take you back again i command that spirit go now i cast that spirit now if there is anyone you know whether you are here or anyone you know that for some reason has not been able to take in in the name of barrenness whether you are here or you are standing for them i want you to agree i want to pray let's see the devil that will stop them from taking it in the name of jesus anyone you know and you are standing for that the devil i don't care what the medical report is that the devil has come to make sure that they will not celebrate children in the name that is above all names we release children from heaven in the name of jesus we release children from heaven we open every body womb in the name of jesus christ hallelujah the lord is showing me a group of people you see you have dreams frequently and in the dreams you see yourself receiving things and it's something that in the physical you are hoping to receive but the moment you see it in that dream it will never happen again it's an irony it's like the opposite of what you see in dreams is what happens the lord is asking me to deliver those people now please help her help her just stand near your wife so that she doesn't have to fall right now in the name of jesus in the name that is above all names i decree and declare from the realm of the spirit let there be deliverance for you now let there be deliverance for you now Just two more points and we're done you are in a situation where the future is never brighter than the past it's always once upon a time this was happening i need to crush that devil from your life the path of the just is as a shining light that shineth ever brighter unto the perfect day when your tomorrow becomes worse than your yesterday there is a spirit reversing the equation lift your hands i want to pray for you in the name that is above all names i declare that any force from hell that is responsible for aborting a glorious tomorrow to take the events of the past and still bring it into your tomorrow right now at the count of three i declare that spirit must let you go one two three let them go now let them go now by the anointing of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ hallelujah please just be patient with me we'll end now my spirit is heavy 
circles of repeated sicknesses i want to pray now it's not a normal thing whether it is hepatitis whether it is a blood related disease or whether it is every month malaria every month malaria every month typhoid you treat it it still comes back every month headache every month whatever it is hold on please the lord is showing me something i just saw like a pile of money and then i saw it disappear and the lord said there are people money physically disappears like lives their life i'm not saying you waste it you can keep ten thousand and come back and find seven thousand and nobody was in that house it's not just money items you can wash clothes and hang it you you didn't steal it you will come back you will not find it listen well this is a, a deliverance series just allow me to help that lady I'm seeing a lady in a vision now. You were alone. You washed your underwear in the night. By the next day, you didn't find two of them again. It's gone. From that day, something happened in your life in a strange way. Severe menstrual pain is one of the things you started having. Uncontrollable pain. In the name of Jesus, everything the devil has taken from anyone, I decree and declare by the anointing of the Spirit, let there be restoration now. Let there be restoration now. Let there be restoration now. is showing me someone every time you see someone die in the dream a few weeks later it will happen physically now you have seen your loved ones you saw them last week you saw like a, somebody was announcing to you that so i don't know if it's your mother or something that died if we don't pray for you it's going to happen in the name of jesus christ i declare oh death where is thy sting Oh grave, where is thy victory? I prophesy right now upon your life. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I command that death to pass over your family. I command that death to pass over your family. There is a lady here. Every time you see yourself in a dream, you are a man, not a woman. That's why I'm struggling to share what I'm saying. Physically, you are a lady. But every time you see yourself in a dream, it's like you are carrying the form of a man. This thing has affected you even in the area of relationship. If a guy looks at you and says, I love you, it's like, it's like, um, it's, it's like you feel as if you are gay. It's, it's like something has numbed the capacity to receive love as a lady because of that encounter is a demonic thing that i have to pray for you for a very demonic thing i'm seeing like smoke this is strange and then it is it's just like moving around in the air wherever those groups of people are i don't believe it's just one person it's an operation of darkness in the name of jesus i stretch my hands right now and i decree and declare by the power of the holy ghost be free from that demonic siege now. Be free from that demonic siege now. I was going to pray for repeated cycles of sickness. Let that be the last. Let's pray. If you know in this place that you find out that certain sicknesses never leave you, they keep repeating cycles just place your hand on your chest i'm about to pray it doesn't matter what part of your body and what sickness you just place your hand on your chest i'm going to pray someone will shout under the anointing when that happens the anointing for this healing is not a sickness it's a pattern that god is breaking now the moment that shout happens i will rebuke that thank you jesus just lay your hands there the power of god is looking for 
one person there's somebody that will shout that's the shout right now in the name of jesus by the anointing of the holy spirit every pattern of reoccurring infirmity reoccurring sickness whether it's a blood related disease every pattern i say it again of reoccurring sickness reoccurring disease right now by the power of the holy ghost i command the spirit responsible lose your hold now 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 I gave you an instruction and I want to give you another one just try to be consistent do it out of revelation at least 15 minutes in the night wake up and pray pray in the spirit declare the victory of Christ just forget about whatever dream or whatever experience you're having just do what I'm asking you to do are we together now we believe you are mightily blessed Let's raise our hands to the heavens and give the Lord all the praise and all the worship. Shalabaka soda barasya kuta. Sada balaka shobrande galakatisa. Father, take all the worship belongs to you. Mighty God, thank you. Bless his name from the depth of your heart. Bless his name with everything that is within you. Shabarado Kasoda Balamasia Dabalado. I'd like you in one minute, we are going to pray just two prayer points. I'd like you to lift up your voice and declare that in the name of Jesus, I'm walking in the experience of the victory, the victory that the blood of Jesus, the victory that the blood of Jesus, the victory that the death of Jesus, the victory of his triumphant resurrection. Lift your voice and declare. Never will it become a prophetic reality. It is becoming my experience. Victory over generational curses. Victory over yokes and bondages. Lord, I declare, Lord, I declare, complete victory over the works of darkness. the man had died but Abel the blood was speaking and he cried and God himself had to say no something is happening although the man had died but the blood is still speaking I'd like you to engage the blood and say in the name of Jesus I declare that I'm a partaker of the ministry of the blood I invoke the advocacy of the blood open your mouth and speak open your mouth and speak over every pattern, over every curse, over every yoke. And when I see the blood, I will pass over. And when I see the blood, I will pass over. And when I see the blood, I will pass over. And when I see the blood upon your life, 
upon your family. When I see the blood upon every ordinance against you, I will pass over. When I see the blood upon the pronouncements in your family, I will pass over. Lift your voice and invoke the blood. We declare that the blood speaks. We declare the mystery of God's mercy. The blood speaks. We declare the priesthood of Jesus that is after the order of Melchizedek. Higher than the Aaronic priesthood. Higher than the priesthood of Noah. We declare in the name of Jesus. Shabbatako Sabarata. The blood speaks. The blood speaks over the ordinance of our fathers. The blood speaks. Hallelujah. We are going to receive grace to pray. But I want to pray for you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, I, my God, I'm seeing a sword. Right now I declare every hold of darkness, even in this series, help them. Jesus, look at what is happening there. In the name of Jesus, you know my voice. I was once your victim, but tonight has come as one who has been given the keys of David by the message of God. I declare right now, in the name of Jesus, everyone here under the sound of my voice, who is under any kind of siege, right now be free in the name of Jesus. 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 Every family under any kind of siege that is mocking your Christian integrity and making God's word look like a lie. Shabakatokasata. Embreketokashabalatata. Reketokatosh. Shabaskata shata. Rakato shabariatakata. In the name of Jesus. Fire, I'm seeing fire. That's what I'm seeing from heaven. Shabokotos Kabariatata. Man Takoto Shagatekete. Ebrekete Loko Sobarika. Mapakatos Kaya. I'm praying for you in the spirit. Sheketo Koto Shamana. Eketalia Katabariakata. In the name of Jesus. I cause the plague of witchcraft. I cause the plague of witchcraft. In the name of Jesus. Every voice speaking against everyone's destiny. The Bible says blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us. The Bible says he nailed it to the cross. I declare and I decree by the substitutionary sacrifice of the eternal begotten of the Father. I cause every power that is not of God in the name of Jesus Christ. I reverse any ordinance in the spirit over every individual over every family I command a reversal now in the name of Jesus and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession let me pray for you everything that must enter your hand the open doors that the blood of Christ release. Help them, please. Everything you have seen in the realm of the spirit, God has shown you dreams that you are a possessor. God has shown you dreams. Your children, your breakthrough, your lifting, your speed, your job, your marriage. In the name of Jesus, I release it to your hands now. Become a possessor. I release it to your hands now. Become a possessor. And I pray for you. 
the bible says when you catch a thief he won't just restore what he stole because he has wasted your time by stealing can i speak restoration let me tell you there are many of us you have lost things some you have lost time Mashamakata, Kabata. Joshua said, Son, go back, move, go back. I prophesy to you in the name of the Lord Jesus. I prophesy as one sent in the name that is above all names. Everything the devil took away from you, I command a restoration now. I command a restoration now. Whatever you have lost in time, I speak to you. Between today and Friday coming, I pray that someone will have the faith to believe this prayer. May my God, the God of Jeshurun, arise and surprise you. Arise and surprise you. We call him Ebenezer, the helper of Israel. I declare, oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. Hallelujah. The Bible says, The rod of the wicked will not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Do you know why? Because when that pressure comes upon the righteous, the pressure will make them dip their hands in iniquity. I will share with you a mystery. It was the delay of the coming of the bridegroom that made the oil of five of the virgins to finish. If the bridegroom came early, all ten will be alive. They all started alive, but when there was delay, five started going down. We have to but your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing down. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing down. One more time. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing down. I'd like you to blast in tongues non-stop. This month of July, we are declaring war over the gates of darkness. Lift your voice and pray that a threefold cord cannot be easily broken. Pray like a priest. Pray like a priest. Lord, the gates must open. Lord, my destiny must be revived. My spiritual life must be revived. My finances, my family, arise, O oh God of heaven. Shabadakata, Shabadakata, Lakata Kata Kata. My ministry is time to break forth on the left, on the right. Oh, 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 oh,
In the next two minutes, I'd like you to receive things in the spirit. The things that the Bible said, please don't take casual this opportunity. We're operating under an anointing. I'd like you to declare, receive by faith in the name of Jesus. Receive mantles, receive anointings, receive open doors, receive favors, receive bl blessings, receive graces in the name of Jesus. Receive ease. you may receive that your joy may be fulfilled hallelujah i like you to take this remaining two minutes seriously you are going to make decrees you are not talking to god you are talking to your destiny you are talking to your life are you ready to pray Open your mouth and make the keys. Lift up your heads. Oh, ye gates. Shake it. Lift up your heads. I command close doors. Be open. In the name of Jesus. I hold the keys of David. And I command the doors open. That no man will shut. I decree and declare my power is as a shining light it shines brighter it shines brighter unto the perfect day I decree and declare I shall not die I leave I choose life I choose life I reject death not by accident not by the soul God is a with favor like a shield. God is a with favor like a shield. In the name of Jesus, I go from glory to glory. I go from power to power. I go from grace to grace. From anointing to anointing. From wisdom to wisdom. Koinonia is like a shining light that grows brighter and brighter. Unto the perfect day. The Lord gives the word from this place. And great be the comfort of them that publish it. Bless your children. Bless your wife. Bless your husband. Bless your home. Bless your finances. Bless your spiritual life. We declare over Zaria, we declare over Kaduna, we declare over Nigeria in the name of Jesus, rising from glory to glory. Everything I do prospers in the name of Jesus. No failure of my life. So no failure with me in the mighty name of Jesus.
Turn again the captivity of Zion like the streams of the Negev. Shalabarato Zagabarato Zedekas. Entekele Barato Sabaroto Zubahasa. Entele Grando Sadabaru Sevias. Krabagabaruda Sige Barutisias. Englato Sabrada Barato Ziatash. In the name of Jesus, turn situations around. We declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Agree with me in the name of Jesus. Amen. And the apostle says, Lord, behold their threatenings. And we pray that you stretch forth your hands and you grant that miracle signs and wonders be wrought in the name of your holy son he said behold their threatenings respond to their threatenings by stretching forth your hands and that miracles and signs and wonders be wrought in the name of your holy son father we decree and declare these are issues that have threatened the liberty of the saints they have robbed you of glory and lord we bring them under judgment in the name of jesus lord i stand in agreement with every grace within this house and we decree and prophesy that these egyptians you see today in the name of jesus you see them no more forever these egyptians you see today, in the name of jesus you see them no more forever my Bible says, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, he said, we were like them that dream, and our mouths were filled with laughter, and they said among the hidden, the Lord had done great things for us. He says, the Lord had done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Then he says, turn again our captivity like the streams of the south. We decree and declare that everything that represents captivity here, let it be turned like the streams of the south. The Bible says, have you heard of this proverb before that a nation be born in one day? But then it says, as soon as Zion travails, it says she shall put forth her son. I declare speed to every request here. <laughs> Prophet Joel speaking by the Spirit said, and I will restore the years. Let me tell you this, real dominion is dominion over time. No matter what you dominate, if you do not dominate time, you are not walking in dominion. And I will restore the years. Many of us, we've wasted time, we've wasted opportunities. In the name of Jesus, let there be restoration. <laughs> Hallelujah. When no man arises to see you important enough for them to invest their time, their credibility their reputation their resources to honor the dealings of god in your life hear me the diagnosis is that you do not sustain favor it's not yet at work in your life one more time i pray in the name of jesus the favor that will move you and shift you to strange dimensions of grace may it rest upon you now In the name of Jesus, I declare the wisdom that comes from above, the wisdom, the hidden wisdom of God that was ordained for the glory of the saints. May that dimension of wisdom be made manifest in your life from tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Bible says, because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, it says, therefore, even God, thy God, hath anointed you with an oil called the oil of gladness. And it says, that oil sets you above your fellows. The grace that distinguishes you, in the name of Jesus, may that grace rest upon you. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Bible says, and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. Not God, the king. A king can send for you and bring you out of your situation. Listen, listen to me. The king sent for Joseph, not God. 
there are men who can help men all blessings come from God through men to men I declare the man that is ordained of God to hold your hands your ministry your business in this season and to see to it that you rise in the name of Jesus enjoy their ministry hallelujah praise the Lord I pray for every dead vision every dead dream that which has been locked up in your spirit man but has refused to find expression I give it life right now in the name of Jesus can I pray for your family it says as for me and my house when you serve the Lord alone you are not free it must be you and your house I pray for your family members may the angel of his presence go to every family and see to it that it becomes a reflection of the glory of God <laughs> hallelujah Acts chapter 12 the Bible says on account of the gospel Peter was caught after James was beheaded and he was chained and there were guards that protected him but the church prayed earnestly the Bible says and then it says that the angel of the Lord came into the prison cell and the chains fell off on their own and he led Peter out through three gates the first gate opened him up and then the second gate opened him up and then the Bible says he came to a gate called the iron gate and when that gate opened the next thing he saw was the city there are gates that must open for you to step into your place of influence watch this it was not the first gate it was not the second gate the iron gate opened and your business found visibility the iron gate open it says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder the gates that must be open for your influence your business your ministry to find expression I speak to it a father be open be open be open be open In the name of Jesus hear me I prophesy to you whoever fights you goes down instantly listen the Bible says he suffered no man to do them wrong he reproved kings for their sake saying that means this is the basis touch not mine anointed and do my prophets no harm I say it again whoever fights you goes down instantly everyone here under the sound of my voice due for promotion I stand by the God of heaven and I shift you to the next level And everyone trusting God for a job in the parable that Jesus gave they said why sittest thou idle he said no man employ us immediately they got a job I declare to you by the spirit between now and the next three months like the ark of God in the house of Obed Edom receive miracle testimonies <laughs> hallelujah let me speak to everything dead in your life he came and met the girl 12 years old dead and he said no she only sleepeth and the people laughed and he drove them out and then he held her by the hands and said talita kumi little girl i say unto you arise i speak to everything that seems dead in the name of jesus by the spirit that raised christ from the dead Parusa barash kabaranda sibeta. in the name of jesus come back to life now hallelujah the Bible says remember not the former things nor consider the things of old it says for behold I do a new thing I pray for you everything that does not represent the workings of God in your life in the name of Jesus I declare that it fades with your yesterday 
and I open you up to a new season of supernatural manifestation. I prophesy to everyone who is trusting God for direction for the next level of his life, be it marriage, be it whatever, you are at a crossroad and you need the voice of God. May you hear the voice of the Lord in the name of Jesus. I prophesy clarity in the name of Jesus. I prophesy everyone who is already moving the wrong direction either as a result of wrong advices or wrong perceptions about the path of both spiritual and physical progress in the name of Jesus may the Lord redirect your steps now may the Lord redirect your steps now May the Lord redirect your steps now. Anyone about to leave the geography of your anointing as a result of wrong counsel or the quest for greener pastures. The Bible says there is a way that seemed right. You must be at the geography of your grace to thrive. And Isaac sowed not everywhere in that land. In the name that is above all names may you hear the voice of his majesty as you sleep tonight may you hear the voice of his majesty i pray for every bond here who is experiencing stagnation you are marking time and instead of you to make progress you are not moving by extension to every family in the name that is above all names the lord told moses why are you crying to me tell the people to move forward i prophesy over your destiny move forward now move forward now move forward now make progress now make progress now I prophesy over those trusting God to settle down maritally. Every power of darkness tying down your marital destiny in the name of Jesus. That embargo is lifted now by the blood of Jesus. That embargo is lifted now. Sisters, I open your marital doors now. In the name of Jesus. No more shall this proverb be used in your life. May the Lord change your story. Hallelujah. Because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, therefore God, even thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness and that oil sets you above your fellows in the name of Jesus. The anointing that distinguishes you from today everywhere you go be distinguished now help them please so that they don't be, be distinguished now be distinguished now no more will you be common no more will you be like the rest the hand of God is upon you no more will you be common i prophesy from the depths of my heart let an anointing that distinguishes you rest upon you now all those trusting god for jobs let me there's nothing as joblessness the Bible says he saw them idle and he said why standest ye idle and they say no man employ us he told them go to the vine when God speaks there must be job in the name of the Lord Jesus 
wherever your job is i don't care what the limiting factors are there is a superior advantage because you are in christ therefore i invoke man tato sotobala by the ministry of destiny help us wherever you need to be called wherever your cv is i provoke a miracle job now 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 hallelujah I pray for everyone called barren in this place anyone called barren in this place I declare to you according to the word of the Lord that according to the time of life may you return with your miracle child may you return with your miracle child I speak it I establish it in the spirit Zechariah chapter 1 verse 18 it says son of man what seest thou and he said four horns these are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Israel against Jerusalem and against Judah so that no man will lift up his head he said but I have sent carpenters in the name that is above all names the lord told me he will bring breakthrough i want to prophesy it now now whatever has limited you whatever has limited your family right now in the name that is above all names i come with the rod of a higher priesthood and i command every limitation be broken now limitations be broken now limitations i sense the anointing of the holy ghost limitations be broken now be broken now be broken now let the power of god break every limitation now hallelujah he told Saul he said as you return you will see three men holding bread but two of them will give it to you does that mean they didn't want the bread for themselves in the name that is above all names the favor of God that can end the struggles in a man's life please believe the prayer I'm praying for you please believe it it's not by power there is a realm of ease that comes by the favor of god therefore in the name that is above all names i prophesy receive favor favor let the esther anointing come upon you now favor with men favor with god favor with kings favor with destiny help us in the name of Jesus every wine presser and baker that needs to speak to the king on your behalf in the name that is above all names we provoke their ministry now we provoke their ministry now we provoke their ministry now hallelujah whatever you have been trying to do and you don't you don't seem to make progress you keep going around circles of the same thing in the name that is above all names everything you have tried and failed go and do it again this time with the anointing in the name of Jesus everything you have tried to do and you failed I provoke an anointing upon your life and with this anointing go back and do it again it's a master we have toiled all night but he said nevertheless at thy word I bring the word of the Lord to your life now 
what did not work before let it begin to work now hallelujah I pray for every family going through pain and suffering and limitation and bondage every family represented here he said as for me and my house not as for me alone as for me and my house hallelujah in the name of jesus may the fire of god may the fire of the holy ghost bring advancement in every family represented here i command every family make progress move forward make progress move forward move forward hallelujah i speak over everyone here and every family anyone marked for death anyone marked for death or earth i speak hear the word of the lord we forbid the earth from taking the body of anyone here you remain immortal until your assignment is complete you do not live by the sword therefore you will not die by the sword in the name of jesus you are separated from the wickedness and the harassment of terrorism you are separated from the pestilence and the plagues that cause men to be afraid in the name of the lord jesus christ in the name of the lord jesus christ and for many who are students here mando kasike tepakadata rakato bosku prendiki tebalal in the name of jesus every yoke of academic bondage in the name that is above all names i command be free from it now 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 therefore i release upon you the spirit of excellence receive the spirit of excellence on common speed academic exploits in the name of jesus hallelujah for every ministry every business everything that is dead and grounded in the name that is above all names like the dry bones in the valley of ezekiel i command life to it now i command life now I command life now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I command life now hallelujah everyone in ministry in this place I pray for you let the doors of opportunity be open up to you You are not designed to market yourself the bible said let her walk speak for her at the gates i command everything stopping your walk from speaking for you let there be an anointing that announces you in the name of jesus christ every struggle in any area of ministry we call it to end now in the name of jesus and anyone who is in ministry and you are confused you really don't know where you stand you don't know the spiritual paradigm you should be representing in the name that is above all names let there be clarity absolute clarity in the name of jesus i want to speak over your life by the grace of jesus hallelujah where are those called into the ministry of prophetic intercession there are men and women who God is anointing to stand upon their watch and to see that the purposes of God is parted in Abel Kuta. wherever you are I stretch my hands right now 
in the name of Jesus at the count of three may that oil rest on you one two get ready now three take that anointing now take that grace the grace to travel the grace to pray I release it upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ you will pray down revival across territories you will pray and not faint in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah help those under the anointing can I tell you one of the most needed graces in the body of Christ right now is the wisdom of God there is a lot of bankruptcy of divine wisdom it is very clear that only very few people are carrying the wisdom of God and when he sends a word to Jacob he intends that it be lightened upon Israel in the name of Jesus to as many who desire a genuine impartation of wisdom like it came upon Joshua from Moses I stretch my hands right now wisdom beyond your age wisdom beyond your level of exposure wisdom beyond your level of education receive it right now receive it right now number three there is the spirit of revelation you see just because you open your bible does not mean it is opened no there are two things that must happen for a man to access light from scripture the book must be open and the scroll must be unlocked it is your responsibility to open the book but it is the holy spirit who unlocks the seven seals if the scrolls are not unlocked all that you will read is a compendium of controversial statements but in the name of Jesus Paul said in Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 9 that he was given this grace that by this grace all men might see to make all men see there is a grace that makes men see a grace that can make men see it's a grace that opens your eyes that a scripture you have been reading every day when that grace comes upon you your eyes will see what you have never seen father i pray here at abm 2023 i don't know who has prayed and fasted desiring the spirit of revelation but right now carry that grace in jesus name carry that grace in jesus name oh let scripture be open to you carry that grace in jesus name don't be tired we're wrapping up you came to receive number four hallelujah i want to impart upon someone what the bible calls the spirit of faith most people have bold face just for the sake of it but i tell you sincerely there are many people who are not walking by faith they don't know what it means to walk by faith and bet unusual miracles by faith it takes faith to deliver your portion in destiny there is a spirit of faith when the spirit of faith comes upon you you can believe God for anything he can send you to the nations and you will say yes sir do you believe there is such an impartation Through faith we understand that the walls were framed by the word of God I want to pray for you for a man of God here who has been limited in ministry because of fear for a businessman who cannot scale because you are not able to believe God I pray for you from the depth of my spirit may the spirit of faith rest upon you 
may the spirit of faith rest upon you by this impartation you will not beg you will not borrow i say it again you will not beg you will not borrow yet your valley shall be filled with abundance i impart the spirit of faith upon you in the name of jesus christ number five i want to release a grace upon you that announces you to the nations just because you are gifted just because you have integrity just because you are sincere does not mean the nations will look for you ladies and gentlemen believe me i know what i'm saying with all humility there is a grace that makes a generation need you there is a grace that makes a generation desire you you become Beulah and Hepziba. human beings are not stupid they don't get up and make you a model and a reference for their spiritual growth no it will take more than just being a sincere person you can be a man of god full of any kind of revelation and yet even your neighborhood will reject you but there is a grace it's called a hear ye him anointing a hear ye him anointing a grace that grants men visibility this is not just for ministers of the world some of you have products today that you can be called from any part of the world i know a woman you've heard me say the story i think i've marketed this woman so much her story impacted upon me i was preaching somewhere in lagos and then i got to meet this woman and all that she makes is moi moi and with that moi moi she's gotten to the white house don't tell me it was moi moi that took her there the grace for visibility the grace for visibility will cause you to stand before kings you will stand before nobles you will stand before you will ask yourself what am i doing here i stand as a privileged steward of this grace and i stretch my hands to as many in the name of jesus i stand upon this altar and i declare for you and your family and your destiny may this grace rest upon you now May this grace rest upon you now. May this grace rest upon you now. That right from Abel Kuta, they will call you from all over the globe. They will place a demand upon the grace of God on your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I pray two more graces? I want to release this grace that is called favor the Bible says that we walk as wise not as unwise and the way you show wisdom in life and destiny is to redeem the time because the days are evil and one of the forces that helps men to redeem time is the force of favor if the favor of god is not upon your life ladies and gentlemen i don't care how sincere and how well meaning you are you will be stagnated in life in ministry and in destiny the absence of favor is the number one reason that has tilted people to the corridors of compromise favor is when god places a grace upon you that causes men to arise and support what you represent the bible says gideon blew the trumpet and thirty-three thousand people responded to that call it's one thing to know how to blow the trumpet but it's another thing for people to leave their homes to come to answer the call can i tell you when this grace rests upon you you will step into prepared blessings men will wake up on their own believe me i know what i'm saying they will make up their mind to sponsor your children till phd they will they will give you houses you did not build father this may not be for everybody but i don't know who must receive this grace 
I bow my knees to the God of my covenant and I pray in the name of Jesus the son of the living God let this grace called favor rest on someone let this grace called favor rest on a man of God let this grace called favor rest on a businessman let this grace called favor rest on a student rest on a family rest on a missionary rest on a politician in the name of Jesus by this grace let gates be open on their own let doors be open on their own let opportunities look for you let abundance look for you enjoy by favor the gift of men help us of destiny they arise for your sake in Jesus name we pray final impartation final impartation the Bible says blessed is the man who the Lord causes to approach him there is a grace for encounters this is the last prayer I want to pray for you ladies and gentlemen every great man is made by the encounters that he goes through the God you encounter is the God you reveal to your generation you cannot reveal a theoretical God to your generation when you encounter the healer you will reveal the healer when you encounter the lifter you will reveal the lifter when you encounter a false God you will reveal a God whose status and power you cannot demonstrate I submit to you by the Spirit of God one of the ways that God helped me in life and destiny was to grant me access to encounters I am a product of not just many anointings but many encounters he has opened my eyes to see he has opened my eyes to hear I have seen him I have seen angels I have seen the saints of old I have seen demons I have seen spirits they have strengthened my conviction about the reality of the realm of the spirit I have seen truths from scripture by encounter I want to pray for someone because the God you will have to reveal to this generation cannot be a theoretical God gone are the days where we shout and say God can do this God is this and yet our lives cannot demonstrate it but I know whom I believe and I am persuaded that is the assignment of encounters I pray for you Lord Jesus here on this ground again reveal yourself to someone in this place reveal your glory to someone in this place reveal your power to someone in this place father let the mantles of men like late apostle babalola and the prophets that sojourn this land that is still hanging around in the spirit through encounters where is the next prophet oh god where is the next apostle where is the next pastor may that grace rest upon you now It's a realm of your glory, it's a realm of your grace. I can see a mighty power moving in this place. We're in the presence of angels with God's glory on their wings. And like the voice of many waters, I can hear the angels sing. You are holy, you are holy, you are holy. Shabbat shalom. Ah, 
You're not wasting your time tonight. Please just press for one minute. I just felt stirred in my heart as I raised this song that the Lord would have us press in the spirit. There is a making that is happening in our lives tonight. <speaking in Spanish> about eight minutes from my timer there and I want us to use these eight minutes to pray when the man of God came here he so graciously stirred the waters by challenging you to know that the realm of the spirit is the origin the foundation upon this earth he told Job he said knoweth thou the ordinances of heaven and he says canst thou establish the dominion in the earth thereof more than principles this earth is immersed in mysteries and for you to access the deep things of the spirit to have power with god indeed according to micah chapter 3 and verse 8 he says i have power by the spirit among the three things if i had time i would have taught you the three dimensions of the help of god the last of them is power. The empowerment of the spirit comes as his way of assisting you. To those who have no might, he increases strength. That's how he helps them. But the strength is only for those who have no might. If you have might, you keep running. CEO, you may still have might in yourself and so you will keep running apostle prophet evangelist your inefficiency may be because you have not assumed the posture that can attract heaven to come and partner with you the formula is always the spirit and the bride saying come results don't come because the bride wants it to come the spirit must say come and then the bride echoes come for the word to come the bible says the word was made flesh but john was given the dynamics of that manifestation it is the spirit and the bride that says come when you say be healed as a bride alone there is no healing until the spirit says be healed then the bride says be healed then healing comes when the spirit says be lifted then the bride says be lifted then lifting comes Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Shalaba Sadaba Ladaba Ladaba Feel this love Hello, he, who are
for you and I want to ask madam can I pray for you just lift your hands the Lord is calling you to a new season of power i'm seeing a strong anointing come upon you and the lord is saying by this anointing he's opening gates and he's giving you access access to territories even by the spirit of the living god access to territories even by the spirit of the living god now i want to pray for you please listen mountains are not moved by holding them to lift them up they are lifted by the shout of grace 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 is a code in the spirit it is a manifestation of the help of god i'm going to be praying right now i'm seeing the number 24 just a few minutes 24 and i'm seeing fire come on those people and the lord is telling me that he's taking away the hindrances and giving you room for advancement i stretch my hands right now 24 in the name that is above all names help them please i decree and declare may that anointing rest upon you now rest upon you now rest upon you now rest upon you now, upon you now. hallelujah who is bukola bukola I'm hearing a name Bukola. Is there someone with that name? I know that our time is up. Bukola. If that is your name or you're following online, Bukola, I just want to pray and speak over that person. Who is Daniel? I'm hearing a name Daniel. Daniel. Haros Shadi Lakoske di Branda Kaskusia has Sabrandi Gibalasia. I want to pray for you. What do you do, my friend? This one. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is coming upon you. And you will step into, you will become another man. Even by the Spirit of the living God. My friend, what do you do? Huh? I cook. I cook. You cook? Yes. Because I'm seeing the grace that came on Stephen on you that from the welfare department he's taking you to ministry the call of God is upon your hand your life I want to pray for you father in the name of Jesus may that grace come upon this gentleman that from serving tables I shift you by the spirit in the name of Jesus you will drink of that wine and you will step into superior dimensions of power in the name of Jesus Christ 
please bring two people for me now they will shout loud under the anointing to the hearing of everyone i just want to speak to them this one or two minutes two people one is a lady a loud shout i'm just seeing the wind of the spirit rest upon that person he says loud shout to the hearing of everybody my friend take that grace in the name of jesus christ help you a new dimension that young lady this lady please tap her for me the one praying my dear lift your hands i'm seeing the grace that was on esther coming on you and the lord is saying it's a new season i shift you right now by the power of the holy spirit even into that season in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god hallelujah everything that has constituted a delay in your life the bible says and the hand of the lord came upon elijah and he ran and overtook the chariots of ahab even down to jezreel there is a grace that can come upon a man and grant you speed listen you see the zenith of dominion in life is dominion over time dominion over time real authority is demonstrated when you are able to manipulate time to work out an advantage for you it says and i will restore the years not just the things i will restore the years there are three ways that god brings restoration number one he gives you speed number two he is able to take the things that should have been and to bring it even to your future it is within his power because he is alpha he is omega and the third way that god is able to restore is through favor so he can bring you into prepared blessings even by his spirit there are times that he will empower your crops to produce but it is subject to time but there are times you will need bread directly you will need it even processed he is able to do both it is within his power i'm saying this because i want to release that grace for speed our time is up as i pray please i want you to be your brother's keeper so that people will begin to run by the spirit please help them so they don't injure themselves i stretch my hands right now may that grace for speed yes by the road of the priest by the road of the apostolic and the prophetic in the name of jesus take that grace speed speed in your destiny i decree and declare speed yes by the spirit of grace yes Ten years in one year by the power of the prophetic one month receiving one year speed in ministry speed in business I said before you an open door by the key of David that though that no man can shut when open and no man can open when shut may your gates be continually open yes night not to be shot that you would receive the forces of the gentiles now i lend my voice with the angel over this house the prophet over your life to speak over you that in the name of jesus christ who is the son of the living god beginning from tonight the grace to begin to walk with the Holy Spirit in deeper dimensions receive it right now Amen. the hearing ear and the seeing eye in the name of Jesus may it be given to you Amen. the hearing ear 
and the seeing eye may it be given to you and if there is anyone here who is already walking in confusion outside of the prophetic blueprint for your life it says and when he the spirit of truth is come that he will guide us into all truth i decree and declare enjoy the guidance of the spirit in the name of jesus christ and in addition to all that you have received i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead the remaining half of this the year from june even until december it will be by the spirit for you Amen. business by the spirit Amen. ministry by the spirit Amen. parenting by the spirit Amen. finances by the spirit Amen. open doors by the spirit Amen. in the name of jesus Christ. Amen. i decree and declare that you are blessed Amen. the blessings that come on account of our work with the holy spirit may they be evident in your life amen in the name of jesus who is the son of the living amen. god the lord bless you amen. the lord increase you amen in jesus name we pray amen give jesus a big hand clap